Hello. Oh, wow. I'm gonna keep doing that in sync. It's great. I like it. Welcome to Drunk K-Pop, the show where we watch K-Pop and get wasted. I'm Claire. I'm Abby. And we are your K-Pop moms, here to take you on a spiritual K-Pop journey through all of the beautiful new and old, but today very new. Very new. It just came out, what, two days ago? Mm-hmm. Dang. Look at us. Now we just have to edit this and put it out in a timely fashion. Hey, about that. <laughs> what are we watching today? Today we are going on a uh, artistic PTS journey. Ooh, Ooh. symbolism. Art film. Art films. Uh, so we're going to watch the uh, Black Swan art film. Yeah. This is still the fandom rule that as we used in the EXO video and in the interlude video in that uh, being a fan of that group lets you watch it first. Yes, I, I didn't. Oh, you didn't actually? No. Whoa. I saved it. It's been out for two days, and I haven't watched it at all. That's I've a serious to commitment. I'm. It made me frustrated, <laughs> but I did it for you. So you've you've read a little bit of this of the symbolism, but not a lot. Uh, well, I read the lyrics. Okay. In English. Okay. I didn't do as much research on this one as I did on the previous one because the previous one I had seen. Yes. I saw Interlude Shadow. Mm-hmm. I have not seen uh, the Black Swan art video. I have listened to music as a track and okay. read the lyrics of the track. That still counts. So I still did some still digging, yeah. but I, this <coughs> will still be a, a genuine reaction on my part to all of the visuals. Yay! Mm-hmm. And so as far as we can tell, it seems to be more along like referencing the ballet rather than the movie. I think so. Because okay. all I know about it is that it is ballet. Yes. So we'll see. So far, still my favorite K-pop uh, Black Swan reference is uh, Rainbow's Black Swan, which is fantastic. Check it out if you like Black Swan references. It's good. It's good stuff. Yeah. Good stuff. All right. Shall we get into it? This one, yes. Headphones on. Headphones on. And this is BTS Black Swan art film. Courage. Hush. Courage. Hush. Dancer dies twice. Once when they stop dancing, and the first death is more painful. Oh, Martha Graham. Totally. It also sounds like a Martha um, Graham's a ballet dancer. Like a senior quote. Yeah, a really depressing senior <laughs> quote. Okay. Are we so, in school uniforms or just suits? I don't know. Hmm. Just suits. They're in an abandoned building. Okay. Naturally, it's where you have emotions. Mm-hmm. Right. One guy without a jacket. So he must be the lead. I guess. The leader, like the, the person that they are. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Some good some jiggly s- time. Some good spine breaking. Ugh. The shadows gather around. Are we gonna lift him? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, some bone breaky. Ugh. I love some strings. Oof, I do. Give me that cello. Ooh, that's a very impressive cello. Yeah. Do your thing is not a lyric that I expected with this. Yep, you thought it <laughs> with deeper. This instrumental. What's my thing? Uh, they just they gotta find the party. They gotta find the thing. So, he's probably the swan, and they're the shadow. Okay. Oh, there's a more quote. Oh, they're crushing him. And lifting him up. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not crazy about the huge wide shots. Like, it's a cool effect, but it takes away the choreo to me. Yeah, it's harder to see the choreo, but it really brings up the emptiness. Yeah. I wish I could see more, though. Yeah. Ooh. Like see that? I would have liked that better if it was. Oh, in a cage. Yeah, I like that more. Okay. I love how everything is sort of a fluid piece. Yeah. Ooh, that was cool. Oh, that was very, very ocean. Yeah. Very ocean waves. 
just like the limb flailing, yeah. sort of undulating, is really cool. That's really neat. Wow, that's Ooh, beautiful. Yeah. Okay, we're literally talking yeah. about ways in the lyrics. All right, that makes sense. Ooh. Getting away. Can he escape his shadow? No. Oh, he's still doing all of the, the like swan movements of the actual black swan ballet. Yeah. But That's with also really distortions. Cool. That's so interesting. Yeah, he's still doing the very difficult the bird arm movements. Yeah. Hmm. Are you gonna? I thought that was like a slide or something. I thought he was gonna just slide down it. Is it like an escalator? Yeah, I think it's an escalator. Oh, the shadow's this gone. The shadow's gone. What you do is you just you just break your spine a little bit, and then your shadow goes away. He looks really familiar. He is a Slovenian ballet dancer. Okay. Then I did not know him before. <laughs> he just looks like someone else. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Ooh. Ooh. They're so the well came insane. out. Yeah. Ooh. The lyrics film it now? Because it's kind of like feeling Film it now. now. Film it now. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Oh, like the syncopation of the shadows following him is so mm. interesting. Back to the hug. A good, a good mushy hug. You know, that's what you do when you hug your friends. Yeah. You just kind of wiggle around. Is it a mall? Where they are? Yeah, it looks like an, an abandoned mall. Like an abandoned mall. mall? Yeah. Hmm. Flying away, but he never leaves the ground. Mm-hmm. And the shadow's still holding him. Mm-hmm. And you could say that the shadow's holding him to the ground, but also the shadow is... Oh, oh that was it. Okay. Wow. 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 No, what I was going to say is the shadow is holding him to the ground, but also is... Lifting the, him up. Lifting him up at the same time. There was a lot of that. Like, there was a point where um, he was, like, crushed under their feet, and then they immediately swung him up in the air. And there yeah. was a lot of the dichotomy of the, mm -hmm. the shadow, which is the key theory here, being both the thing that lifted and dragged. Mm, yeah. Yeah, I think the the main vibe that I was getting is the sort of thing of, like, of, uh, what's my thing? Tell me. You tell me what I am. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, film it. Tell me, you know, tell me what yeah. to do. And you, what I am is what you want me to be sort yeah. of thing. And so I find that really interesting as we, as we combine it with the first interlude of like, mm -hmm. okay, this is still the sensation of like, as much as the, the people on the outside see them and they, you see these boys and you see them just like living their lives and doing stuff. Yeah. And you're like, oh yes, I know them, but you don't know them. Yeah. At the end of the day. So that might be be part of the effect of what they're trying to go for here. Of like, we still have we're multidimensional beings. We've got a lot going on. You only know us to a certain extent. Yeah, you have to remember that. And you know, film it now. Like you're the one on the outside. Yeah, being the observer mm -hmm. almost intrusively. Yeah, and I think a lot of the lyrics beyond that dealt with art artists having their first death when they can no longer do their art mm -hmm. and how their lives are their art mm -hmm. and I think that that might be something they might be struggling with especially as they start coming up on their mandatory conscriptions oh yeah it's Jin's year yeah and so they the lyrics deal a lot with maybe the idea that they might have to stop making art at some point and that mm -hmm. would be their first death mm. and I think that's really interesting and being haunted by that possibility and that maybe even if they lost interest or lost touch with their artistic sphere, how shocking that would be. And I think that is maybe where the title comes from. That's yeah. my theory. Mm. My theory, because a black swan, if you, to call something a black swan is to, is to name it as unanticipated and unexpected. Because yeah. 
the story behind Black Swan as a detail is that when someone first discovered that black swans existed, people were like, what? Swans are white, though. There's a black swan. It was just something they could not even fathom. So Mm -hmm. a black swan isn't like people always think of it as something that's like the black sheep, Mm -hmm. but it's not the same. It's something that's shockingly unanticipated. So Mm -hmm. maybe them losing their connection with their artistic abilities and their artistic expression is their black swan. Yeah. And I would say also uh, another direction you might take as well as the conscription being an available option is that like as they get more popular they're probably being more and more urged to do things that are more commercial, more friendly in general to the public Mm -hmm. versus when you're an artist you just try to do the things that you need to get out in art form. Uh, so that might be another thing they're struggling with is like, okay, how do we still make something that is true to us, but that the public will like, yeah. especially as they go more and more worldwide and how, what can we make that everyone can relate to that still feels like us. And I think this is taking that thought and going, fuck that Mm -hmm. and doing almost the opposite of Mm -hmm. what they have done in certain times previously and made like relatable bops. Yeah. Like boy with love. Yeah, that's just a just a like a feel good good time. Yeah, and this is self expression in a truer sense. And I mm-hmm. think that they took this opportunity to make something that wasn't necessarily as mainstream as mainstream as they are. They are using their platform to release something that isn't necessarily going to get them mm-hmm. further, yeah. but feels better for them as artists to release. Yeah, which is cool. I'm really here for that. Yeah. Can we give our thoughts on the, the music video completely devoid of the, uh, song meaning. These, the song meaning? Yes. Yeah. We could have gone much further with symbolism if we had done this in like a green screen space. Or even just use a lot like more effects mm. would have been cool. Like if we had had, like as much as, I mean, it is modern dance and you can just visualize. You don't need the visual. Yeah. But it would have been cool if we had had literally like the wings... Like, even oh, scribbly. Want, I want, want, like, the Natalie literal... Natalie Portman. Well, Black like, Swan. even that, or, like, even, like, the scribbly, like, we had an interlude. Oh, of yeah. Of just, like, scribbling wings around him or something. Mm. To kind of help with the imagery. Because there were some points where I was like, oh, yes, I know where we're going. I know what's happening here. And there were other points I was like, this is cool dance. I don't see how they connect. Mm. And the the so many wide shots on some of the the points that seemed really important dance-wise... I was like, oh, I don't know what's going on. I wanted. I like can't a, see. I wanted a static shot. Yeah, like, I really want, or at least like one static space at yeah. least. Yeah. Um, I agree with you on the wide shots. Mm-hmm. I disagree with you on the effects. I liked the simplicity of it. I think that most often when I watch performance videos of dance, I really like to pay attention to the moves more than anything else, and so yeah. I wouldn't have liked the scribbles or anything like that. Okay. Um, but I thought that it was really interesting. I think the abandoned mall is kind of maybe a commentary on like the capitalist world, that like dystopian yeah trapment that they have. I guess trying to like bring it into recent reality rather than making it feel like a, a fanciful story. Like yeah. this is part of our current reality in the world we're living in. Yeah. So I thought I feel that I thought that could be a good visual. Yeah. Uh, metaphor to be had but I do understand that it was very simplistic in certain ways and more could have been there I just liked the simplicity but I also just really like watching dancers dance yeah I think it's so beautiful and one other thing I just really wanted him to slide down that space between the escalators I just wanted him to just like I was like if you don't I'm going to I'm gonna jump on that damn slide I see it this was fun. This was I'm here fun. For this. I'm excited I, about the direction it's going in. Yeah, I'm really glad that I waited to watch it with you mm-hmm. because I think that you had a lot of great commentary and I think yes. made, made it better for me. Mm-hmm. Um, I am going to reserve my rating of the song for until we see the music video that actually goes along with the song. Oh, is there is there one coming up? Mm-hmm. Woo! This was a good time. Some good art. You know what else is a good time besides good art? Uh, is hitting subscribe as well as the bell button to get notifications of our next video coming out, which might be BTS. Who knows? You never know. You never know. What order we edit things in? Thing we don't know. Hmm. We watch a lot, a wide variety of things. Yes, we can we also do. check out our channel and check out some of the other things we've done. We like to uh, try a, a wide variety of K-pop, and we also have been in K-pop a while, so we have a lot of stuff to talk about that have 
that you may not have seen that you might enjoy checking out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, It's important to remember that we are adults of legal drinking age. We are drinking in the safety of our own home. We have water and snacks on standby. I am pointing to things you can't see, but I swear they exist. Um, There there is food in the the bowl. There's food in it. Yes. It's not dog food. I found that out. They're combos. Combos. Tasty. (laughs) Uh, Yeah. So it's very important to remember to drink Drink responsibly. responsibly.